It all started with a cult. The Dark Wheel. You don't find them, they find you. So, I murdered a few people to get known conspirator and engineer Bill Turner after me, and then murdered a detective so I could access a very special evidence locker they keep in Alioth. There were three things I needed in there. Some evidence to clear my name, a large quantity of illegal narcotics for celebration purposes, and Mick Turner's diary. Now, by wearing Detective Lala's skin as a onesie, I had acquired evidence I needed to clear my name, and perhaps the next clue. But in the process you murdered several police officers when they saw a man wearing the skin of another man approaching. Yes, they, they took a surprising amount of bullets to murder. I suspect the developers have been meddling with the balance of rifle damage, though I can't say why that would be important. But, do you not see how what you are doing is wrong? How every step of the way you have been spiraling uncontrollably into deeper levels of moral wretchedness. You just murdered several police officers in cold blood. Is that not textbook evil? Huh. Actually, I wasn't really thinking about that before, but now that you mention it, I think I do see the error of my ways. I, I was just going around murdering people willy-nilly. But I was doing more harm than simply killing a bunch of NPCs. I was tearing families apart. Moving forward, I will be much more conscious of who I kill. For example, uh, you there. Do you have a wife? No. I am on my own out here. See? I'm not a murderer without a heart. Uh, you there. D do you have a family? Oh, yes. Lots of children. Okay. I'll make this as quick as possible. For the children. Okay, who else wants to help me learn a lesson? Special, my friend. He brought you some fresh Alien skiff cake. Oh, no! Oh, I'm so sorry, old man. I, I just kind of got in a rhythm there. I, I didn't mean to... It's okay. Special, it wasn't you. It was the gun. That's just how the legal system works. Please, take this money to pay the fin. I am so old. I want to go to the other side. He's right. The legal system is really what's wrong with this galaxy. It's about time someone took it on. Okay, I'm turning myself in. Officers, I'm coming out with my hands up. The murder spree of Commander Spatula 007 ended today as Alliance police apprehended him during the evacuation of Alioth's Donaldson Station, where Spatula was responsible for the death of several police officers and local citizens just minding their own business. We're about to go to the live feed of the courtroom drama as the case is just about to start. All rise for the honorable judge. Bring out the accused. Commander Spatula, you are charged with seven counts of murder in the first degree, second degree, third degree, and all the way up to the tenth degree, along with loitering and being a public menace and scoundrel. How do you plead? Your Honor, I may indeed be guilty of being a scoundrel, but to the rest I plead not guilty by reason of insanity. Insanity? Really? You're, you're, you're pleading insanity? Objection, Your Honor. You should be judging my case, not my plea. Are you sure you don't want to hire a space lawyer? I'm perfectly capable of defending myself. You know those long terms of service that they make you read before you do anything? Y yeah, I can't read them, but I look at them for a really long time, and so I know how to legal. So you are about to be a witness yourself, Judge, to the greatest trial in the history of this galaxy. Well, fuck, this is going to be interesting. All right, let's get this case on the road. Prosecutor, you can kick us off if you don't mind. Thank you, Your Honor. Ladies and gentle judges of the court, and to the millions of humans watching this on the news, I am here today to prove to you beyond a doubt that Spatula is a dirty, dirty murderer and should be given a very firm spanking by the law. The evidence we have is overwhelming and will speak for itself. So, I yield the rest of my time to allow the defense to make this statement. Thank you, Your Honor, and uh, people of this galaxy. This man is a huge dickhead. Everything he said is total bullshit. Okay, that's all I got. Okay, so we'll start off with some evidence then. Uh, prosecution, you have the floor. Thank you, Your Honor. Let us start with Exhibit A. On the night of Stardate 566833306, 
Spectre that struck down and killed is Kevin Smithlivio, then under his pen name, Terry Turner, the erotic novelist. The prosecution now calls Mr. Melodopio to the hollow stand. Do you swear to tell the truth? Yeah, I swear to tell the truth and nothing but the naked, sweaty, pulsating truth. Mr. Melodopio, can you tell the courts what it is that you do? I write erotic exploration novels. You're probably familiar with my latest bestseller, Snow White Dwarf and the Seven Asps. Yes, I thought it was a very bold choice to have all seven asps behind the star instead of in front. But let me ask, where were you on star date 566-8306? What is that? Six months ago on a Tuesday, yeah? I'm pretty sure that's the day Spatula killed me. Objection, Your Honor. Clearly this man is not dead. You know as well as anyone that just because people can rebuy doesn't mean they don't get killed. Overruled. Go on, Mr. Melopio. It was a major inconvenience to me. I lost 200,000 credits and was late to my book signing because of a minor fine I had in that system. He just came out of nowhere and shot his red hot energy into my rear, like a blazing red giant groping its way through dark matter as it climaxes in a supernova explosion. Well, now I get why you're such a popular writer, but you mentioned a fine. What kind of fine did you have exactly? It's not relevant to this case. Your Honor, we have a hostile witness here. He's badgering the witness, Your Honor. Objection. I'm not turning anyone into a badger here. Did you seriously think that or was that a joke? Both of you, shut up. Terence, please answer the question. What was your fine for? All right, I'll talk. It was. It was a fine for. Lying. Lying in court. I rest my case, Your Honor. This is just the first witness, Bachelor. Your case is quite far from done. Prosecutor, I'm going to have to say this is an unreliable witness, and let's move on to your next thing, okay? I haven't gone all day here, and my testicles are starting to get moist in this microgravity. Yes, yes, of course, Your Honor. The next thing we have, Exhibit B, is this fuel scoop from the python that murdered Bill Turner's brother, also named Terry Turner. You see that it is wanted in the same system where scattered remains of the crime scene were situated. Huh? I've never seen that fuel scoop in my life. It was taken out of your ship. The Golden Dangus? That's been dry docked for ages. But but I don't recognize that fuel scoop, so this evidence is poo-poo. It's registered in your name. Well, of course it would be. If you say you found it in my ship, then I put forward the notion that when my ship was docked, someone could have snuck in, stole my fuel scoop, went off murdering people, and then brought the fuel scoop back and reinstalled it, making the ship wanted. It's a possibility within the realm of reasonable doubt, and therefore, this evidence is merely circumstantial. Unless you expect the fuel scoop to testify, of course. (laughs) Judge, what the fuck? Sorry, I'm going to have to give this one to him. That's a rare possibility, but not beyond reasonable doubt. One time, my ex-wife put her wanted heat sink on my ship and called the system cops on me. What else you got, Frosty? All right. Next up, we discuss the murder of Bill Turner's trade fleet. Though it was hard to get him, as he's quite a busy man, I called Bill Turner to the stand via hollow prediction. Thank you for joining us, Bill. Bill, why don't you start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Oh, why thank you. Well, my name is Bill. I like playing space tennis with my friends and tinkering with materials in my spare time. I'm an engineer. And if you want, you can come visit me in Turner Metallics in the Alia system and ask for Bill Turner. Uh, well, talk to Celine Jean at first and get her to refer you... Uh, Get allied with the Alliance and the Alioth permit and all that first. Oh, and bring me 50 tons of bromelite if you want me to even talk to you. Thank you, Bill. And if I'm not mistaken, you had a brother who the record shows that you loved very, very much. Yes, that's correct. I had a brother named Terry, who was a really nice guy, probably the nicest person in the bubble. He was on his way to volunteer at an orphanage when he was gunned down in cold blood by an idiot named Spatula. And on the night of Star Date 5887-3306, Spatula came to you for some engineering, and you asked him to help you escort your fleet of trade ships. Am I correct? Yeah, 
Yes, that's correct. Only that slimy son of a bitch went and murdered all those poor defenseless hey, ships. Hey, hey, liar! That, that, that's not true! You rigged my ship to kill all those people! Oh, please. I didn't even have to rig your ship because you already screwed it up so bad. Oh, so you're saying you knew my ship was faulty and you didn't fix it? How dare you talk to me like that? You're just lucky someone turned you into the law before I got to you first. Why don't you come down here to Alia 4A and I'll shoot you in your stupid brain? Well, not if I shoot you first in your fingers so that you can't shoot. I'm going to kill you in the next episode, Spatula. No, Bill. You can't do that because I'm going to fucking kill you next episode. May I remind you that you're currently pleading not guilty to murder and in court. Uh, let that last comment be stricken from the record. Prosecutor, do we have any further questions for the witness? No further questions, your honor. Then what else you got? Fine, then. Peace out, Spatula. You're dead. Well, after this incident, Spatula falls off the map. But the news recovered from Detective Lazar, we can place his location in the Dave system on Christmas Eve 3306. We managed to track down one witness, a Commander of Glorious. Who is this? How did you get this frequency? This is Space Court, and you've been subpoenaed as a witness. A witness? You must have me confused as someone who abides by your petty rules and respects your wisdom. Why do you waste my time? Mr. Elskubius, on Star Date Christmas Eve 3306, you hired a commander to deliver a bomb to some sick children. Not a bomb, a bomb. What's wrong with you? Do I have a speech impediment? Clean your ears out. Uh, let the record show that's what I said, bomb. Anyway, uh, Scorbis, do you see that commander in this courtroom? No. The man I hired had ridiculous facial hair and was a dupe for the Empire. Not that that narrows things down. But that's all you're getting from me. I have people to kill. Pray you're not one of them. Goodbye. Your Honor, the defense submits one reddish mustache as evidence. Clearly, El Scorbius hired Spatula when he was in disguise. Objection, Your Honor. All he's proved here is that mustaches exist. Anyone can grow a mustache. So by that logic, the prosecutor himself could be a suspect. Uh, I guess that's true. I had a mustache back in the 3270s. Handlebar. Love the way it dusted my lips. Those were better days. But then I suppose I could have been a suspect. Sustained. Well, we also have video evidence of the defense violently shanking a detective to death and then wearing his skin as a disguise to break into a police station on Ilioth where he murdered several police officers. We really don't need witnesses for that since we have the video evidence. Oh, this is pretty damning. Yeah, but the camera makes it look ten times worse, Your Honor. Well, I, I don't want to see any more videos. I have a weak stomach. So, I move that before we get into the defense, we adjourn for a short recess. Okay, we're back. So, defense, you got anything for us? Yes, Your Honor. As you recall, at the beginning of the trial, I pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity. But now it is time to reveal that it is not me who is insane. It's the entire galaxy. Wait, you're saying that you aren't pleading insanity for yourself, but on behalf of the entire galaxy? Correct. You see, if you look at the current crime and punishment system, you'd basically have to be insane to believe that this is the way that things should work. Now to prove this, I call forth Exhibit A, a Coriolis Station. Mr. Station, on the night of, well, let's just say yesterday, how many commanders did you kill? Space room. Okay, well let me tell you, 972 kills just yesterday. Loitering, trespassing, pad blocking, that all led to the result of 972 commanders being needlessly slaughtered. But why? Space Because it's what you do. 
Or rather, what the insurance companies tell you to do. Your Honor, loitering is a crime punishable by death. But what is the point of proving what they already know to be true? Spatula, where is this going? It's going somewhere, Your Honor, I promise, I promise. And for my next witness, I call upon the Codex. The Codex? Yes. If you go to the Codex page and check out your commander profile, you can see here that I've killed, well, a lot of people. Holy shit, that's a lot of murder. Yes, but now ask yourself the question. Why is it that our Pilot Federation profiles actively track how many kills we have and promote us when we achieve certain milestones, but not our docking fines? If loitering is a crime punishable by death, why do we purge it from the records? Oh, King Anne, we all know the answer to that. Kills tie into faction and power influence and need to be tracked for rank and BGS purposes. Loitering is merely a local crime. Thank you. You just proved my entire case. Huh? Well, you see, murder a man and he rebuys his ship. Murder a bunch of people and you gain power and influence with the factions of humanity. It's how the galaxy was designed. Without murder, the factions that make up the bubble would all start to wither and collapse with no flow of new influence. Some people work for credits, some materials, or even arcs. But murder is the currency of the elite ranking systems. It doesn't care whether you're shooting wanted ships or not. Killing other people is the only way that you can get your combat rank up, and in the process, you're actually helping the galaxy. Shit, that's a good point. I never thought of it like that before. Judge, you can be furious. Hold on, let me, let me try something here. Uh, hmm. You know, that felt kind of good. Look, I just helped out my local faction. By God, Spatula, you're right. Then, I arrest my case. I have to admit, this is the most unusual defense I've ever seen. You just proved the entire crime and punishment system is completely stupid. All I really did was present the evidence, Your Honor. Well, then I have no other choice but to declare you guilty. Oh, no! Guilty of having the best damn defense I've ever seen. On all counts of murder, I find the descendant innocent of a crime. However, you are found guilty of loitering, and this is a crime punishable by death. Your Honor! But since this is unprecedented territory, I reduce your fine to 5,000 credits and require you travel three systems over to a penal station. Just go there and check in, and I'll have your ship transferred over. Oh, thanks, Your Honor. I also hereby declare that given the finding Spatula has brought to this court, that Alioth is now an anarchy system, since there really is no point to having a legal system anymore. I hereby declare murder and piracy legal. Now, Bailiff, give me some of that tasty cargo. Your Honor, you only have one canister of bullock waste on me. Please. You heard me. Open up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why does he have that on him? I am the law. Did you see that, Nova? Yes, I was watching on Galtube. I honestly can't believe that your defense worked like it did. Well, it's all part of the plan, Nova. Now that Alioth is an anarchy system, you know what that means. It means we can finally stop murdering people? No. It means we can pay a visit to Turner Metallics and murder that jerk Bill Turner without any consequences whatsoever. Oh boy. Here we go again. Yes, this is what it's all been leading to, Nova. I'm gonna kill Bill Turner next episode, or die trying. This is gonna be the biggest murder the galaxy has ever seen. If that doesn't get me into the dark wheel, I don't know what will. Yes, why not? You just murdered an entire courtroom and sent the Alliance capital into anarchy, so the next logical step is to murder an engineer. What kind of secret cult wouldn't appreciate these kinds of gestures? I guess we'll find out if it works on the next Dengus. Click the like button and subscribe to become a witness yourself.